Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today and we are doing more of the Halloween events. Now I haven't been putting these videos out as fast as I normally do and that's because we've just hit that 10k which has always been my YouTube goal so I appreciate everyone for hitting that subscribe button and uh, supporting me over the couple of years that we've been on YouTube. Here today, the Sturgeon Demon. Now to do this mission we go over here to Premium and then we can go down to Event well, no, event packs and then we can go along here and we can purchase this for 99 bait coins which is what I did but you can also purchase these these things separately through the actual shop as well so fire, fire salamander that's the bait that we need and then to do this mission I've already clicked track so we've got to travel to Sandauer and we've got to catch some of those sturgeon demon now I think it's going to work where it's early morning and that's the way it's been working through these um, through these Halloween events. Now the license is a bit of a shame because now I've almost completed it. But I've only just noticed that literally right now at this point they now have everything on cheaper. So the travel places as you can see there it's now 6,860 rather than closer to the 10,000 mark. Hey, 10,000. Right, so let's travel. I don't know. I found that amusing to myself. But anyway, <laughs> we've been playing this game for a little over six and a half years. I'm kind of addicted to it. We also have a playlist of Just Fishing Planet as well. So if you're stuck on any mission through Halloween or any normal fish mission, fish monster mission, trying to find hot spots, how and where to catch certain fish in every single lake, you could always check out our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. Now, of course, when those updates drop, I'll always live stream that with the face cam and mic, letting you guys know new updates, what's going to be in the update, and of course, showing you those new hotspots and completing those new missions as well. It looks like the loading's not bad today, so that's good. All right, so I'm going to start off hit. Oh, I was going to say what's going on there. The game was having a little bit of a lag. Now, for Sturgeon, I've had Sturgeon before here in uh Sandauer, but that was a short short moment ago now i've caught them around this kind of area i've also caught them as you can see there's other guys here looks like they're doing the same thing over here near around this area now this is all the places that i've caught sturgeon over the long years of playing fishing planet so that's what i'm going to do i guess i know there is certain times for sturgeon I do remember that, but it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get set up. I guess I'm going to cast over this way a little bit and see what... Oh, there you go. We can hear. We can hear it. Is it going to surface? I can't see over that way. It sounded like it... I was going to say. It sounds like it came from behind me, and I think... I think it is coming from behind me. Let's stay facing this way for a second. Now I know the sturgeon over that way. It could be over here as well. Now for the other fish that we've been catching, as we've been progressing through, normally we see the fish come to the surface and we see it come across the surface. So it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to catch one. And then when I get a fish on, I'll bring you guys back and I'll let you guys know the exact location where I caught it. And of course I will set a marker. So I'll bring you back in a short sec. All right, we're back. That didn't take long. I probably didn't even need to make an edit, to be honest. I probably could have left that running for a second. Yeah, that looks like the sturgeon. Whether it's going to be big enough or not, it's got to be at least £110. And whether it's £110 or not, I don't know. But those other two rods are going. And exactly where I caught sturgeon before, many years ago, that's exactly the spot that I've casted to not that i've got a marker but i do remember fishing for sturgeon here cool wow this one's given a really good fight now you can hear those noises from the sturgeon as well now i'm using the mocky rod which is the best bottom rod on the game i probably would recommend at least if you can't get this rod, I definitely would recommend a, a minimum of a heavy chaser. These fish are not going to be easy to reel in. Oh, it was just under 108 pounds. It was just under. All right, we got another fish on. Is that... Oh, okay. This one could be. I don't know. That one's reeling in way too easy. All right, well, anyway, I know the 
location. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to pull out the map here. And I'm going to set a marker for that last fish just to show you. So there it is. Sturgeon Demon. And that weren't quite big enough. So I do need it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to pick up... Uh, let's pick up this rod here just to zoom in. There you go. So there it is. It's Yeah, it's pretty easy to see. That's where it is. Now I'm going to show you also the uh, the rod that I'm using as well, just in case. So these are the rods that I'm using, the Mocky rod and of course the good old float rod. I've got that set to 40 inches. And then another Mocky rod, then the good old Le Cazador. If you can get this rod, this rod will do the job. Also the Mocky, as I said, you probably could get away with the Heavy Chaser, but it will take a short minute. Probably wouldn't recommend doing it with anything weaker than that. So I will bring you guys back when we get that first £110 one. Okay, I'll bring you guys back again. I've had this fish on for a short minute, this one. Now, I probably, you might not even be able to do it with a Heavy Chaser, to be honest. That one took insanely long. And there you go, there's our first one. That's £118 Sturgeon Demon. Now that's pretty good. 6,380. Do you know what? The XP don't really matter anything to me at all. But the cash, 13,000 cash. I'm always up for more cash. Let's have a look at it like that. Wow, that's an absolute beast. What a monster. <laughs> yeah, that was on the Cazador rod, which was not easy to reel in. So that's that set up there. You can always pause the video at any point. Yeah, that was on the 4 ot hook as well. Now, I have got some of these rods set up with the 6 ot, But yeah, that one was on the 4 ot. So, we got a 6 ot on this one. I don't... Yeah, this is not a fish that we're looking for. Alright, well, I guess I'll bring you guys back again for that last one in just a moment. Alright, I'm back again. We got another fish on. Hopefully, this is the one. I ran out of the fire salamander and I had to buy that another four times I've brought that so far because I keep on catching them but every time I catch them they are under the £110 mark so that one's looking like an absolute beast and I cannot stop that from running and this is on the Mocky rod as well so it's on that stronger rod this time we got the 6 ot hook on there he's running I can't hold on no I can't get him <laughs> Yeah, these, these fish, I, I said about a heavy chaser, I don't know. A heavy chaser, it could be possible to do it with, but I don't I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it with a heavy chaser. It probably just would be very, very time consuming. That's probably the only thing. Now, the Cazadora rod, you can definitely do it. This Mocky rod, you can definitely do it. The float rod, of course, well, the float rod that I'm using there, you could probably do it with that float rod. I don't know about other float rods. I don't really use float rods too often, if I'm honest. I reckon this is the one, though. This is this looks like a chunky one. Oh, wow. He, I, I held him there for a second. Oh, hold on. He's going deep. I can't turn him. Yeah, this is definitely the one this time. If it's not, I'm going to eat my own hat at this point. I've hit record so many times, and every time I keep hitting record, it's not the right size. There it is. I was just about to say no. Well, that was reasonable, not the easiest. Definitely not. It was just it was just more time consuming because I had to keep buying the bait and I kept catching them smaller. And of course, cuz now we've got this fish, every other rod is going off bonkers. Not bad cash there, but mission has been accomplished. Let's move away from that so it's not so loud. Sturgeon Demon mission accomplished. So 6,660 cash, and of course I will never ever say no to them extra bait coins. Bait coins is something that we always can do. <laughs> yeah, we could never have enough of those. We could always do with more. Okay, so the next one is going to be the Cursed Carps. That's going to be at Weeping Willow. That that one's quite a big mission, so there's going to be quite a quite a lot of edits in that one, if I'm honest. But that's okay. That that video is going to be coming straight after this one. So I'm going to show you my rod setups again. And I'm also going to show you again on the map. So there is where we had it. And that's where I caught both of them over £110. And obviously some under that as well. So if we cast to there, I'm going to stand here. It's going to be a bit noisy. I'm going to stand there just to show you one more time how far I was casting. 
So there it is. Let's zoom in. So about 90-ish foot there. It's pretty easy to see because you've got those little round floats there in the water. So just in front of that float a little bit will do the job. Uh, let's speed reel that in. I'm going to quickly show you the rod setups just one last time. So that's the one that we just caught it on. So the 6 op and the 4 op, either one of those will do the job. And then here, this float rod, I got that set as 88 pounds. So that's a pretty, pretty strong float rod, if I'm honest. And then, of course, the Cazador. Good old Cazador. That used to be the best bottom rod, but now it's not anymore, of course. That one is 72.7 pounds. And you probably could do it with a weaker rod, but it's just not going to be that easy. That's all. So I hope you guys did enjoy that one. It was a little bit frustrating at points where I kept on getting those smaller fish rather than the actual size that I needed. Leave your comments below. I always try my best to respond to every comment. Smack that like button if you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. And uh, make sure that notification bell is hit so you don't miss out on that next one coming very soon. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.